welcome back to another V Rising video. This one is going to be a special video, uh, basically just showcasing the entirety of my methodology of theory crafting Adam the Firstborn solo. Uh, this has been this was actually an insanely difficult fight, easily the hardest fight in this game you know, of any of the fights that have ever been in this game. So I uh, just wanted to get here and show what I was using here. Uh, this is, you know, after stopping the first time around, I decided to try some lightning and slicers to see if the, you know, the static could help me get a little bit of damage on him. But obviously here I'm still learning exactly what he's doing. It's just I'm being overall very bad. So I realized, okay, I've made so many mistakes. I just got to get out of here, I think. And so I just walked through the lightning and uh, we reset. So the next time I came in, uh, I came in, I decided to try something different. Uh, so instead of lightning, I realized that it was hitting the wall every time. So I actually swapped to Blood Rage because I figured, you know, I'm actually doing a lot of melee damage, melee range stuff. So maybe if I have like a couple things to that, that like emphasize that, it might be a little better. So I went with Blood Rite and Blood Rage. And again, we just kind of kept up with this whole thing. Um, and actually did pretty good with this, even though, you know, you see me here getting yeeted. Um, overall, it actually helped a lot to have this. Um, but again, I was still learning the fight, and so you see me take damage and things like that, randomly throwing out Slicer Q to dodge things, and... But, uh, you can see the HP gain is just insane on this, so, uh, with the, with the specific build. So, uh, we kind of were, we kept dodging here, uh, and so, got him down to about half here. You can see my HP was getting kind of low, but this stupid grab, this is, like, the most annoying part of this fight to me, uh, because there's so much going on. And a lot of times you, you're kind of just moving wherever you can figure out where to move. You know, just dodging and there's lightning going on like this. You can see this. And then out of nowhere, he's just like, oh, by the way, if you happen to be walking backwards when I use this move, I'm for sure grabbing you. Unless you dash, which, you know, um, a lot of times I was saving my dash for other more emergency scenarios. But, but anyway, so we actually managed to get him to half here, even though you know, that stomp was a little wacky. I was, you know using the Q, but um, yeah, so we actually got him to half here, got these health orbs, and I was pretty confident like if I get these health orbs, I could heal back up to full for the most part because I had so much sustain going on in this build. Um, and so that was pretty exciting to get that, and I realized I needed more space. So the, the thing that just got, was getting really crazy was just how little space we have in this fight. It, it's clearly designed for a squad to come in here and you know have the squad take care of these little laser beams while maybe one or two people are kind of focusing him and trading aggro but in a solo situation you know it's pretty difficult and then you'll see there getting knocked back by his little lightning wind up was pretty annoying you see stuff like that you know again i was still learning timing and then i get stomped and obliterated and i thought at this point all right we gotta get out of here but you know i was kind of panicking so i just kind of started walking through uh, i'm like oh use his counter and he decides that, nah, you dead, bro. So we came back in, and I decided to switch it up just a little bit, just to see maybe if I could, like, out-sustain him. So you'll see I have uh, Sanguine Coil now. And then um, I swapped off of the Fallen Angel ult, which seemed kind of pointless in this fight. It felt like it was gonna get it was going to get destroyed, like, instantly. So I went to Raging Tempest again, uh, because... Thinking about it, I was really starting to learn the importance of um, kind of like giving yourself time to dodge these things. And like these attacks that he does with the lightning summons and everything have such a huge... I mean, that was just so much damage. But <clears throat> yeah, the attacks that he does, they have such a huge duration that anything you can do to kind of lessen that duration and give yourself a break to wait for them to wear off is actually pretty nice. So using Q to dodge that, that's a huge deal. So look, he's using this. and I So yeah, this ability here, or this moment here when he does this, I had learned that essentially using Raging Tempest there gives you a little bit of time just to kind of avoid that. This whole situation is just so rough. So anything you can do to give yourself some time is good. But then I didn't know that these balls were going to shock me like that. So you see, I just got totally annihilated by them. <laughs> Uh, but I wanted to see really badly. I wanted to see what his, you know, what would happen when I got him to zero HP. I was like, "There's no way this is the end. There's no way this is the end." And sure enough, what does he do? He decides, "All right, time to stop uh, messing around. We're gonna go lightning arm mode, anime bad guy mode." 
And you see just how much it destroys me. That third hit, or that, that last hit he does in that combo, is an AoE. It is not... Um, it is not something you can counter. And then that was like the luckiest E ever. I literally was just sitting behind. I didn't know what he was doing, so I just pressed E. And you'll see here, I actually get insanely lucky, lucky. Again, I get driven into this corner, and I press Q right as he lands. So that was, again, very, very lucky. And so I thought, okay, well, this is getting horrifying. That you know, that came out of nowhere. The little, like, Sidewinder missile came out of nowhere there. And so here, I'm just kind of like, I don't really know what to do. Um, something that I also noticed that was really an issue was while Sanguine Coil was doing pretty good. Okay, of course, there's the eat. Gotta get thrown into the corner even though I was trying to escape. I panic, I pop a potion, get zapped, lightning comes down, boom, dead. So, super frustrating. So we came back in here, and this fight, this is the, the fight that I noticed really, oh, I had this really weird interaction, look at this. I have no idea what that was, but he was very low in his first form, so that was pretty weird. Anyway, we came back in, we fought, he threw me in the corner again, of course. Uh, I managed to be able to get him down here, which, you know, that this is super good. I was like, okay, I have really high health. Time to get him to his final form here, or at least I'm assuming it was his final form at this point in time. And so I'm doing actually pretty good staying alive here and dodging most of his stuff, even though it's just so spastic. It just, he goes everywhere, he throws things out at random. There's just so much to keep track of. Um, but I was doing pretty good keeping away from it. But something I noticed at this point was Sanguine Coil, while it was doing a really good job uh, keeping me healthy, it was doing next to no damage to him. Just like nothing. I mean, look at that. 45 damage, 57 damage. That's just not enough damage. Because at this point, there's so much going on. Getting into melee range and doing melee attacks is basically just, it's not a thing. So I was learning to dodge like this a lot better. You know, kind of just like, okay, I can get, I can move around without getting stuck stuck in this lightning. I need to open up these things, but you know, I'm using single and just to open these. And then I have no way to actually deal damage to him, you know? So um, that was the thing that kind of got me with single coil. You see, I got him all the way close to the end here. Got stuck in the lightning again. Healed up a little bit. You know, again, my health is pretty good. I'm doing pretty good here. I was feeling kind of confident at this point. You know, I was like, hey, I'm actually getting him down, but this this battle was just such a battle for attrition. And what do you know? The throw again. It's like the last thing you expect at this point in the fight. But I have so many potions. I'm like popping potions, trying to open up space here. Using Q to dodge that, super good. And like I said, you know, I, just there's just so much. I have tons of space to work with, but the damage is just like nothing. So, um, I don't know, maybe there's something that somebody knows, maybe you can get single coil damage increase, but this felt really bad to me, just trying to figure out what to do here. And so, this is just a little bit further into the fight, you'll see what happens here. You know, I'm doing good, my health is pretty decent, and then I get hit by one thing, this throw. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's too bad, but that's okay, we'll heal up for a second. And then, all of a sudden, he hits me with that. I'm like, that's not good. Then I get incapacitated. And then I get wombo comboed. So now we're in trouble. I'm like, okay, well, I went from like pretty decent. I'm like, ah, can, maybe I can stay around. And I, I thought, there's just no way. There's no way I'm staying around here. I got to get out of here. So after that, um, I came back in and had this really annoying situation where my health was doing pretty good. This is his first form. And I was like, oh, man, I'm doing really good here. Like actually getting stuff done. And uh, then this really bizarre thing happens you'll just have to see here so as i'm dodging again my health is looking pretty solid you know i only have a, i've only lost a little bit of max effective hp but look at that for no reason he just he just randomly resets and i'm like what <laughs> um okay i don't know what that was so i don't know if it was a combination of me being invisible for too long or this door i had been in here so long that this door had closed so i don't know if that's what the issue was so it could have been that but regardless, I decided to take a break at that point. Um, I was kind of stumped with the fight. It had been so long, this door had closed. So I went and actually had dinner and just could not stop thinking about the fight. So the whole time I was thinking what my issue was and I realized that I actually needed to do more damage. So I decided to change my skills from Sanguine Quail to Chaos Volley. And uh, I got to say, the result was basically instantaneous. 
Cue the boss music.
And there it is. Adam defeated. I was absolutely ecstatic with this. Had to hit him with the uh, BM Beck in here. And uh, super excited to finally complete that fight. It was definitely difficult. Easily the hardest they've ever had in this game. 100%. That was insane. So, oh, really quick loot check here. Got these Warforged Peacemakers. And they are garbage. But that didn't stop me from going home and doing a celebratory lightning strike. This thing is sick. It looks so good. Definitely very thematic. So hit you with a bow real quick. And then we'll go over the jewels really quick and the equipment that I was running. So I had Amulet of the Arch Warlock. And then as far as slicers go, I had Storm Infuse Q, which is really good. And then the roll was pretty good. You know, decent spell power, whatever. Uh, and then as far as the jewels go on my spells, we had Veil of Blood. This one was good. It increases damage on your next dash or primary attack, uh, increases the healing, and then also dashes through enemy, inflicts leech. That's a huge deal. Really, really nice. Uh, next for Blood Rite, we had when triggered, your next primary attack does 46% bonus damage. That was an amazing one. And then turn invisible during immaterial uh, duration. That one's just super important. And then Chaos Volley, we had a really good roll here. It was just increased, increased damage by 16%. I think the max you can get is 25%. And then uh, increased projectile range and speed. Eh, it's pretty good. And then also reduces cooldown. So that's a huge one. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Super glad we were able to get that done. This is going to be the end of the squad run. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will catch you in the next one.